Hi, everyone. Uh, great to see you here. Uh, I see some of my students uh, in, in the audience. So just you, that you know, it doesn't give you extra cred credit in the course. But <laughs> so uh, don't uh, start uh, to make some expectations. Um, I, uh, in, in this talk, uh, I would like to share with you how I tried to standardize a lazy counted iterator, uh, failed to do so, and I'm happy with the result. Why it's a good thing. Uh, I'm Yehezkel Bernat. Uh, I'm se a senior software engineer at uh, Microsoft, uh, working there for five years. And if you know me from so social networks, uh, you might recognize my avatar. Uh, it's less colorful than uh, my current outfit. And uh, okay, uh, and just a quick disclaimer, I am not representing my employer here today, and all the opinions are only mine. With that out, okay, let's dive in. So the story begins when my oldest son, Yehuda, uh, worked uh, on Project Euler, uh, uh, solving problems from Project Euler. Project Euler is a nice project uh, online uh, with many problems that are of a mathematical nature. Uh, it's not uh, uh, proving uh, any mathematical uh, theorem, but uh, uh, just uh, defining some mathematical def uh, uh, conditions and then asking to summarize some uh, huge amount of numbers or something like this. Uh, all the problems there are uh, designed to encourage solving them by programming. So for example, if you try to, to learn a new programming language and you want some motivation uh, to, to, to write some code in this, so this project is a great uh, source of problems to, to use uh, to, and try to solve them. Uh, so this problem uh, is about truncatable primes and I won't go into the, the definitions, but uh, the, uh, after defining what it means uh, for this problem, truncatable prime, uh, it asks, find the sum of on, uh, the only 11 primes that are both truncatable from left to right and from right to left. Uh, okay, uh, so Yehuda thought, okay, let's use ranges. Uh, C++ 20, uh, let's uh, practice using ranges. And just a quick question by showing of hands, how many of you have used range, ranges at least once. Okay, uh, not many people. Uh, and how many of you know more or less what ranges are? Okay, uh, so still uh, um, about third of the audience that uh, not sure about it. So I will just give a, a quick recap of what ranges are, to, so we can continue the discussion. Uh, so. Ranges are basically the, the next generation of STL algorithms that I assume every, everyone already knows. Uh, and it, it, it took, uh, it, uh, uh, the first step uh, it uh, took uh, to, to advance the, the design is uh, instead of every algorithm having to, to, to get two, uh, two separated iterators begin and end, uh, it takes a range, uh, encapsulating the, the begin and end to one object, and this makes the, the interface cleaner and uh, makes it uh, uh, easier to co uh, composite uh, 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 such calls and also prevent uh, a whole class of bugs when we might uh, take the, the wrong end to, to, the, to the begin, uh, for example. And the, uh, but then when we have this uh, encapsulation, uh, this abstraction, uh, the, uh, the designers uh, decide, okay, why the end iterator must be iterator? Maybe 
It can be as any sentinel, any, any, anything that will tell us, OK, here you, you should stop. So for example, there is take while that uh, gets, uh, gets the begin iterator, of course. But uh, then uh, instead of uh, using end iterator that pre-computed, uh, pre uh, it uses a sentinel with the predicate we, we gave it. And uh, uh, so we, t we, tell, uh, we tell it, uh, take while uh, the number is uh, smaller than 42. Uh, so what we have there is not on iterator, but a, a sentinel with the predicate. Uh, and this uh, may, uh, allows us to for much wider use cases. And then we have many views that uh, we can apply uh, on other ranges of views. Uh, and uh, to continue the transformation, uh, and eventually, uh, for for the uh, for nicer syntax, we can use pipe uh, operator uh, just like uh, Unix or Linux shell uh, allows us to, to chain operations. So we can, for example, take a vector of uh, numbers and filter all the even numbers from it, then take only the first five from them and transform it to a new vector that we return from uh, this uh, function. Uh, OK, so this should be enough for background to, to understand the, the rest. Uh, OK, so where we, uh, where we uh, let's use ranges. So the, the heart of the, this, uh, uh, of the solution is to use IOTA. IOTA generates numbers uh, from the starting point. Uh, the name is historical, and that's it. And then we filter the depending uh, by checking if this is a prime, and if it's a prime, if it's a truncatable prime, and then take the, the first 11 from, uh, from this list. Um, OK, I think it just uh, uh, codified the, 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 the requirement, but then Compiler Explorer timed out. Uh, OK, it's not uh, that, uh, uh, that big of compu computation. And apparently, uh, after debugging, he, fou he found that uh, it, it tries to, to find the next, the next number. Uh, usually, I, uh, I'm happy to take uh, questions uh, during the session, uh, the, the talk, but uh, this is a short talk, so I, I, I would like if it, it can wait for to the end. Thanks. Um, uh, yeah, so it, it tries to, to get the, the 12 number, but there is no 12 number. Uh, why it happened? Uh, so apparently, the use take uses counted iterator underlying, uh, which uh, counted iterator take, takes the original iterator we iterate on and also a counter. Uh, so now they are bundled together, and uh, we, can, uh, we know that we won't take more than the counter uh, says. Uh, so be because when the counter reaches 0, uh, it, become, uh, it, the, uh, it returns like it's the end iterator. Uh, and let's look uh, uh, at the, the implementation. This one is uh, coming from Microsoft STL, but you can find a similar implementation in every other uh, operator plus plus of counter, counter iterator. There is some uh, deb uh, debug uh, asserts, it uh, doesn't matter. The heart of this uh, uh, implementation is we increment the current iterator, the internal iterator, and decrement the length, the counter. And uh, let's notice that even when the length become, becomes zero, so we took all the, all the elements we, we, we wanted already, it still increments the, the, uh, the iterator. And because the iterator is filtered iterator, because it comes from the, the uh, filter view, uh, it tries 
to find the next number uh, that uh, uh, has the, uh, this uh, property of truncatable prime and uh, doesn't find any. So it runs forever, uh, basically, uh, until overflow. Uh, so, yeah, so the question that uh, we started asking ourselves, uh, okay, maybe it's an uh, implementation bug. We know wha what to do with impl uh, implementation bugs. We can reach to the implementer and ask for, for a fix. Okay, let's see what the standard says. Uh, so this is a, a, a screenshot from the standard and we can see that the, the definition in the standard is not in, with words in this case, but with code. And the code says exactly what the implementation did. So, okay, it's apparently bug in the standard. What, we, what, what can we do uh, now? So, uh, and to, to make it even worse, uh, we found that uh, with input iterator, the, uh, the, the bug is uh, even, even worse. Because, for example, let's take this uh, iStream I string string and use ranges to take the first uh, the first element and okay uh, everyone who was uh, at uh, in Bals, uh, the talk uh, already know, knows the answer but okay so inside the the for the for loop we take only one uh, number so it prints zero nothing uh, nothing uh, okay uh, as expected and then we try to continue uh, using the, this uh, ice link stream and, uh, and assume, yeah, uh, the whoever writes the, this code probably assumes that, that I uh, will have the, the next number one, but actually it has uh, the number two. And this, again, because the, the iterator was incremented once again, so I I incrementing the iterator of input iterator like i string stream already takes out the element, reads it from, uh, from the input. And wh when we're going back to, to, the, to this stream, uh, uh, this element is not there uh, 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 anymore. So we lost one, uh, one element. Um, so yeah, look, uh, look serious. So how do we fix a bug in the standard? Uh, because in the implementation, okay, le let's open PR and uh, discuss it, etc. So for the uh, standard, we want to change the, the, the text of the standard and it doesn't matter if we want to add a new feature or fix a bug or whatever uh, uh, change we want, the main the main tool is to write a paper, or sometimes it's called a proposal, to proposing a change to the to the standard. There is another another process for filing issues. Uh, I won't go there uh, the, on this talk. Uh, so, just for a quick background, uh, because uh, I, I know not everyone is familiar with the, with uh, the process of the standardization. Uh, the standard is. Uh, international standard and the power of the international uh, standardization organization is from the membership of all the national bodies uh, because so everyone agrees this is the the, the standards they want uh, so they will follow uh, it, it has no police to to enforce it for, for uh, on uh, all the world uh, and specifically, the, C the C++ standard is created by Working Group 21, which, which is the C++ Working Group, and there is some hierarchy uh, above it. Uh, okay, let's go to the diagram. Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's not that complicated. Uh, the, the bottom half is this, the study groups. Uh, they have specific fo uh, focus points like SG1, concurrency, uh, uh, SG2, modules, uh, probably uh, uh, inactive uh, these days, and SG9, 
the, uh, which going to, to play a, a major role here is about ranges. And every paper starts uh, its, uh, its journey in a, one of the study groups uh, uh, that related to, to, to this paper. And the, uh, there's discussions and uh, if, uh, uh, if the, uh, the change makes sense, doesn't make sense, uh, the uh, com comments on the design, uh, pretty much like uh, every uh, code review in, uh, in, in our work. And uh, just a, a bit more picky. And, <laughs> And nitpicking uh, is, uh, is a, f a feature here. And, uh, and then when the study group uh, the, uh, agrees the, the paper is uh, ready, uh, they forward it to one of the evolution groups, uh, the blue box uh, above, the, above the, this uh, study group uh, uh, box. Uh, there is the core evolution group and the library evolution group core is for the core language. And the, they review again the design and decide if uh, it makes sense. And if they uh, agree, they forward it to the wording group, uh, again, the, uh, separated to core and library, uh, that you, uh, all the language lawyers that uh, know wh where uh, we should put a comma in the standard text and where, when a comma will change the, the meaning uh, and implementations uh, will do the, the wrong thing. And uh, eventually, uh, after all this, uh, it comes to the plenary vote uh, in of all WG21. And if they agree, it, it, uh, it, uh, it becomes part of the, the, the current uh, standard draft uh, for, the, for the next version. And uh, when they think it's uh, uh, the, the draft is ready to, to be shipped, uh, these days it comes uh, every three years, uh, they forward it uh, to, to the higher level uh, uh, groups uh, to, for, for final votes. Um, okay, uh, so we wrote a paper and this is uh, R1, uh, R0, it's Revision zero because we are programmers, so in, in revision index uh, index uh, start with uh, zero. Zero. So we uh, the title was fixed counted iterator interaction with input iterators because this is the ma the main problem, and we published it uh, in mid of twenty one, and just said okay let's fi let's fix it. Uh, what what. What the problem is that we increment it uh, uh, the, le the less time. So let's change the text to say, to say don't uh, increment the, the iterator unconditionally, but you, uh, if the length is greater than one, because we haven't uh, decremented it yet, it's the next line, uh, if it's greater than one, so it won't become zero now, uh, you increment the, the iterator. But uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we are at the end anyway, so don't increment it. Uh, the main problem we saw with it is that it will break the ABI, and I won't go into the details, but it, it should be obvious. Um, so wh whoever worked uh, uh, ever on ABI. Uh, so we suggested maybe we want to keep counted iterator as is for ABI compatibility and the just add lazy counted iterator and users will have to, to decide what, uh, what uh, iterator and what version of take to use. And there was also a design issue that I won't go into it uh, uh, now because I don't have the time for it. Uh, when the counted iterator is initially created with, uh, uh, with uh, zero count because it, uh, uh, the internal state uh, isn't uh, consistent with what we assumed uh, with the new, the new design. And uh, if that wasn't enough, uh, we just published the paper 
and even the, and ha haven't had a chance to, to discuss it and uh, to, to get a review from the study group and the sub uh, uh, subreddit of CPP uh, uh, already people noticed, uh, noticed it and commented that uh, iStream buff iterator behaves differently than iStream iterator so uh, to double the fun. Um, okay so we, we knew that we need a new revision because this revision wo uh, won't fly because iStream buff uh, uh, doesn't behave correctly with uh, this, uh, this design and but yeah uh, uh, being uh, very much uh, on topic I was sorry lazy and uh, so the time uh, times uh, yeah the clock the clock is ticking and we are getting uh, closer to to C++ 23 uh, deadline and actually past the deadline yeah the whoosh uh, the deadline do when they pass it's a uh, very successful uh, okay uh, and then we got we got uh, another chance to 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 edit by uh, getting a national body comment because the uh, as i mentioned uh, the, uh, there is the process of vote, uh, final votes for the standard and then uh, every national body uh, uh, that is member of uh, wg21 uh, can review uh, can and should uh, review the the final uh, uh, not final the the, the proposed uh, draft and decide if they are fine with it or not and then the uh, the their tool to to, uh, to say okay we think this one should be changed uh, that one uh, shouldn't be there uh, etc is national body comment so this is about uh, more than a year after uh, revision one, uh, revision zero was uh, published, and uh, okay, so I uh, and they uh, filed a comment, a, a national body comment, saying okay, a, a counted iterator uh, has uh, issues with uh, design issues, and we suggest uh, w you should uh, adopt the the paper of. Uh, uh, th this uh, this paper 2406 20, uh, so we said okay uh, revision zero w won't be adopted uh, for sure so I had no choice uh, I uh, and uh, I created the revision one so revision one uh, uh, we tried to block counted iterator from you being used uh, with iStream iterator but allow it to, to be used by, with iStream buff iterator. And yeah, uh, I think I will go faster on, the, on all the revision just to give, uh, to give a, a sense of how back and forth uh, is uh, going here. Yeah, because of this. Uh, and uh, so, and I, I, won, uh, I won suggested uh, having lazy counted iterator. And then SG9 uh, reviewed it and said, "Okay, we can't block anything from a, a counted uh, from a counted iterator because uh, I might have a file that I opened. I take only the two first words, and I know the file is much longer, so." Uh, I don't care if it takes uh, the, the extra word from it because uh, then I close the file and uh, I don't need anything else. So my code is correct uh, already. Uh, we can't uh, reject such a code. And I think this is the, the, the main point here that uh, it, uh, it demonstrates that uh, the, uh, if the question if counted iterator is correct or not depends on what I intended it to do. Uh, so it very depends on the use case. And R1, uh, okay, um, no, they, they didn't like it uh, for various uh, reasons. Uh, they said, okay, there is an NB comment, we must fix it, uh, or at least want to fix it, but 
let's uh, do, uh, reiterate on it. And then uh, for R2, uh, I did what I should have done for, uh, uh, from the start, and I started discussion, uh, dis uh, discussions on SG9 mailing list, where everyone is there uh, reading and uh, responding. And the, the decision, uh, decision uh, was uh, to, to add more design alternatives. And the main, the main point was, uh, let's make the lazy content iterator only forward iterator. So there is no uh, uh, decrementing uh, option, and this solves the, the issue with creating the iterator with zero count. Um, uh, okay, again, I, I said I, I, I want to go faster uh, to reach the end. And so SG9 liked it, uh, of course, because it was a <laughs> shared design. Uh, so they liked it and forwarded it to uh, the Library Evolution Group. And Library Evolution Group reviewed uh, the wording uh, uh, more deeply and found that there are some still issues. So, okay, go back to SG9. And yeah, it's the, uh, and R3, uh, I implemented it and this is really the 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 uh, the, the the last uh, the last chance to to add it because uh, Isakua uh, was the on February uh, at the end of uh, February at the, at the end of this meeting uh, the committee sent the the draft for for publication uh, so as you dine reviewed it uh, okay some minor uh, minor addition uh, Ed, um, ed, um, edits were, were required and again forward that to library evolution group and the day yesterday uh, the day after it uh, I revision four was ready and reviewed and they <laughs> then they said okay we have take we have lazy take uh, what what uh, should we teach uh, and I, we don't want to confuse the, the, the users, so what do you know? Let, let's, <laughs> let's break counted iterator and replace it with lazy counted iterator. And I was, uh, I was quite shocked because <laughs> ABI break uh, is something that uh, uh, we don't, uh, and some of the breaks might have been even not ABI break, but uh, silent uh, si silent uh, functional uh, change so i was okay i'm not sure if i want to continue with this <laughs> with this paper if this is the direction and but uh, so uh, and then in bal that uh, yeah, she is the chair of uh, sg9 and was on uh, uh, in the room uh, I, I was uh, from remote, and uh, so she, uh, she, uh, she said, okay, uh, I, uh, I will get all the, the ranges uh, exper experts uh, and, uh, uh, and we will edit. And uh, on parallel, uh, people, uh, other people talked to, to the implementers, and the implementers say, of course, they are not going to ship uh, such a break. So uh, there was another alternative uh, all about with deprecation, but then the, the, the main change happened. Tim Song, which is one of the range uh, experts, uh, s uh, noticed the, 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 main, the main design uh, uh, point here. Uh, all the ranges is about uh, using a half open range. And what we try to, to do is to fit closed range uh, into, into this uh, model. So this won't work. We need a different design, maybe an adapter that uh, does it. And so the result was, uh, don't touch counted iterator. It does the right, th the right thing, ju uh, just use it correctly. Uh, so moral of the story, standardization might requires some effort and back and forth, but it worth it because you get good uh, review. And ask for feedback early because uh, yeah, 
it, it will make the whole thing uh, smooth, smoother, and sometimes it's good to fail. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>